down 10 questions you can ask about the people in your community. Number one, is, uh, is he married or single? And number two, does he have children or not? And if so, how old are they? Uh, what's his education level? What's his occupation level? Is he a business owner? Does he work in a business? Is he a laborer? Is he a professional? You want to ask, what kind of setting does he like? Does he like a casual setting? Or does he like things to be more structured and to be more uh, uh, cultured? What are his deep desires? What does he really want out of life? Number seven is what's his uh, financial situation? Is he overloaded with debt? Is he comfortable? Does he have great financial needs? Does he have wealth? Where's he at financially? What kind of atmosphere does he like when he goes to an event? In other words, when he goes out to eat at a restaurant, when he goes to some sort of an event, what's he looking for? Does he want something that is, is fun and uplifting? Does he want something that's intellectually challenging? Does he want something that's active and, and uh, more like a party? You know, what, what kind of a setting does he like? Another question you can ask is, does he like to entertain people in his home? Does he like to go to other people's homes? Or is there a kind of a barrier or a, 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 a wall around the home? And then how does he feel about his station in life? In other words, is he satisfied with his job? Is he satisfied with his house? Is he satisfied with what's happening? Or is he dissatisfied and have, have real yearning? And so as we begin to understand these things about him, now we understand what kind of a worship environment we need to create that's attractive to him because the goal is to reach out into our community through evangelism and attract a crowd to worship. And so this understanding helps us to know what kind of sermons do we need to preach? What topics, how do we need to preach them? What topics should they include? What kind of worship do we want to have? Are people going to dress up to come to church or are they going to want a casual atmosphere? Are they going to bring children with them when they come to church? How important is our children's ministry? And so the understanding who it is we're trying to reach uh, really helps us to create an environment in the church that's effective at reaching them. So you want to personalize your target. Again, you love everybody, you share the gospel with everybody, but you, you have an idea in your mind, this is the person that we're, that we're trying to reach.